Hey everyone, my name is Anthony and I'm a corporate guide here at Northwest Registered Agent. And today we're going to be talking about the Corporate Transparency Act and all the different terminology centered around the Corporate Transparency Act, such as FinCEN, BOI, and things of that nature. So let's get started and break down what FinCEN is. So FinCEN is a bureau under the U.S. Department of Treasury and FinCEN stands for the Financial Crimes Enforcement Network. So you business owners out there, you're going to be required to file a BOI report, which will then go to FinCEN. So let's break down what the BOI report is a little further. So the BOI report is the Beneficial Ownership Information Report, and there's a couple buckets on when you have to file this report. If you form your company prior to January 1st, 2024, you will have until January 1st, 2025 to file that report, which will then be sent to FinCEN. If you form your company after January 1st, 2024, you will have 30 days after the formation of that company to file that report, which is then sent to FinCEN. So we're talking about beneficial ownership. Let's dive a little deeper on defining what a beneficial owner is. So a beneficial owner is someone that has 25% or more ownership of the company. It can also be defined as someone that has substantial control. So let's dive a little deeper and look at what substantial control is. So substantial control can be defined as a senior officer, such as a CEO or a CFO, someone that has the power to appoint or remove a senior official, someone that has majority or a dominant minority on the board of directors, and someone with influence to make important decisions within the company. Along with the beneficial ownership, there are some exemptions to who can be a beneficial owner. So let's take a look at that now. The first one, minors, cannot be beneficial owners. Um, employees that are not senior officers. Someone acting as the agent of the beneficial owner. Someone that has the right to the inheritance of the company. And then creditors. There are some business types that are exempt from even filing the BOI report. Businesses like banks. Um, a specific example would be a company that is physically located in the United States that has over 20 employees and grosses over $5 million a year is also exempt. For a full list of exemptions, go ahead and click on that link below and check it out. Now let's talk about the information that actually goes into the report. So the first thing on the BOI report is going to be the legal name of the person filing the report, the date of birth, the residential address, and then a photo ID with a number on that ID. So a driver's license, a passport, a state ID card. This information does not go public record, so you can rest assured that your privacy is maintained. If you found today's video helpful, be sure to like it and subscribe to our page. And remember to call Northwest when you want more.